Hi, guys. Uh, let me just say this to you. I told you I would try to keep you up to date on whatever I could find out about the radiation. Well, Alex Jones is reporting on the radiation levels, the elevated levels. Um, Indiana radiation spike triggers elevated levels in other states. Media stays silent. Okay, elevated Indiana radiation levels, specifically near the border of Indiana and Michigan, have prompted explosions, military helicopters, and thousands of eyewitness accounts. But where is the mainstream media coverage? And that's what Alex Jones wants to know. Now, independent radiation experts are reporting increased levels in some other states, with one particular station noticing an increase since just around 11.45 a.m. Mountain Time on Thursday. This coincides with the community board post created just around the same time in a number of locations, even before the incident hit the public. In one such posting on a law enforcement website discussing the radiation increase, an individual from Chicago states, we've been encountering some high readings at the labs here, Chicago, Illinois. Now, Pastor Dave Zacker, um, on Friday morning, I believe it was Friday morning, sent me an, uh, an email, sent me an actual copy of an incident report from the davis Bessey nuclear power plant real close to Toledo, Ohio, where they documented that they had a pinhole leak out of one of the valves, pressure valves, and it leaked out uh, one-tenth of a gallon every minute of radioactive coolant, which means every 10 minutes a gallon. That What they don't tell you in the report is how long it leaked. It might have been one hour. It might have been 10 hours. We don't know. But we know this, it was radioactive coolant. We also know that after it leaked, that the radiation spikes began to hit all across northern Indiana, Mich southern Michigan border. Okay, that we do know. And we also know it wasn't just one Geiger counter going off charts having to be reset. It was five and six different independent char uh, uh, monitors realizing the same large spike. And, according to Alex Jones, and Dutch Sense, oh, by the way, Dutch Sense is covering this extensively, and he, too, has been reporting it. Um, it's a shame, though, that the uh, national media ignores this. I mean, shouldn't they be down there asking the questions? Um, this coincides with the community board, as I said, law enforcement websites discussing the radiation increase. Uh, independent radiation monitoring station owner Joey Stanford has uploaded a video showing a spiked radiation levels as far as Colorado. Now, some individuals are questioning the actual source of the increased radiation. Me too. I still don't know. And De Pastor Dave Zach Zacher is not saying for sure that the leak in the Davis-Bessey nuclear plant there near Toledo, Ohio, is the source of the radiation. It just, it's so... Coincidental, or whatever you want to say, it happens, and then you have a huge spike, and they admit they have radioactive coolant leaking. Are you serious? And Dutch Sense is all over this. And now Alex Jones is all over this. But you know who isn't all over this? The national media. Even Pastor Begley is all over this. I'm no expert. I'm an expert of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not an expert of radioactive... Um, levels. I do know this. If the radioactive, here's what it says, Stafford created the video. He said, normally radiation levels will hover between five and six counts, okay, or CPMs, five, and with a height of 60. These levels drastically increased to 7,139. Now, your, your level, your meter could get stuck or something, but it's not going to jump like that. Especially, it's not just yours, but five and six other independent law enforcement labs in Chicago. Um, Alex Jones is concerned, and he should be. Should be. Anyway, he's got this prison planet. If you want to go read more about it, there it is. I'll put the link below for you. There's the title of the uh, article. Just so you know, I'm not 
I'm not dreaming this up. Tell you what I am concerned about. I'm concerned about the welfare of our soul as a nation. If every time we have a nuclear leak, how many times last year did an, uh, one of the nuclear facilities leak and we never heard about it? Just underground guys, local guys like Dutch Sense, people like Alex Jones who have the guts to come out and say it. Uh, you know, myself, I live in northern Indiana. Pastor Dave Zacker, he lives in southern Michigan. Obviously, we're concerned. We're right here in this level. Pastor Dave Zachary even asked me to pray for his two sons. He's got two sons that lived over there closer to that Davis Bessie nuclear plant over in that southern part of Michigan, I suppose, right in that area. I have family up here, grandchildren. You have family, some of you watching right now. But you want to know what's more concerned I am than even the radiation? Because I know what the scripture says. No plague shall come down my dwelling and no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me will I'll condemn in judgment that, that's the scripture that's Isaiah 54 17 here's what I'm concerned about are you saved the radiation storms the radiation levels the sun flares the hurricanes the typhoons the cyclones the tsunamis all those things are natural disasters earthquakes that are out of our control what is in our control is preparing ourselves for the second coming of Christ. And I really ask you to consider giving your life to Jesus Christ. Become a born-again Christian. Repent of your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. And after you're saved, seek water baptism with a pastor, a church, somewhere in the local area where you're at. Or if you want to, like some have done, Drive to Knox, Indiana. I'll baptize you. We've had a couple, a family come out of St. James, Minnesota. Three ladies come out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Four people came all, a whole family came all the way from Iowa. People have come down out of Michigan. Folks have come up out of Kentucky. We've seen, you know, look, we understand. But if you can find someone in your area, I highly recommend it. And then get involved in a church body somewhere in the area where you live. And if you don't have a home church, you can watch me watch my Sunday morning services every Sunday live at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. You can follow me along on YouTube. I'll break down the local news situations around the world, how it relates to Bible prophecy and the powerful Word of God. Or you can listen to my three-hour radio show. PaulBigleyProphecy.com, three hours a day from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you can't get on your computer, it's no problem. You can go to Blog Talk Radio. The name of the show is Coming Apocalypse. Same time, 12 noon to 2, only two hours on radio, from 12 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. We'll share with you the Word of God. We'll keep you up to date with situations taking place. But like I said, the most important thing we can do, and we're not perfect. But the most important thing we can do is inform the public of things that are happening and at least make them aware. Pray. And you heard me say it. I pray that this radiation passes. Obviously, some kind of an event took place. There's thousands of eyewitnesses. Alex Jones is on it. Dutch Sense is on it. I'm on it. Pastor Dave Zacker is on it. Others are on it. Concern. Websites, several different websites now. The mass media, the national media won't touch it because they just want it to go away. Just like they want the dead birds, the dead fish, and the dead cows to go away. Just like they don't want to talk about the drones. They don't want to talk about what happened to Andrew Breitbart. They just want it all to go away. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. You can contact me if you want to pray. I'll pray with you. Many have. Many have. And if you contact me right here on this YouTube channel, Go to my channel page, a private message. Send me a private message and title it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. And I'll help you give your life to Jesus Christ.